Hey, what's up guys? The Gaming Workbench here. And uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to spread your wallpaper across two screens. As you can see right here, it's cutting off because it's going into my second screen. And uh, yeah, it's, it's personally just really cool. Uh, now this does not work for games. I haven't tried with spreading like a mozzarella. I think you can, but whatever. Um, but to get started, what you're going what you're going to want to do is right click and go to your control panel. I have an Nvidia graphics card, so I'm going to go there. And I'm going to want to go to change resolution and go to the minute load. And now, um, normally, I don't know if uh, mine are the same uh, in this the same uh, resolution. Um, but if yours aren't, uh, actually, I think they're all supposed to be the same if you get the same monitors. If you don't have the same, or if you don't have the same size monitors, then I suggest not doing this because it's going to look really weird, and it's not really going to work. Um, but what you're going to want to do is um, add your resol uh, your first piece of the resolution on both of your screens. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get my calculator out because I'm too lazy to add it myself, and we're going to type in 1440. Plus 1440 equals 2880. I know that's simple math, but I wasn't thinking because I'm thinking about recording. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get sticky notes out, and uh, I'm going to write 2880 by, and then you're going to want to take the second part of your uh, resolution. So 2880 by 900. Uh, then you're just going to want to stick it somewhere where you want it. And you can go ahead and uh, minimize uh, NVIDIA or whatever you have. I know some people have AMD. And um, then you want to get out uh, Google, whatever you use, Mozilla, Google Chrome. And you're going to want to type in the resolution that you have. As you can see, I already put it in. I decided to put gaming wallpaper. And a site that I like to use, and I will put this down in the description, I'm just going to go ahead and full screen now, um, is dualmonitorbackgrounds.com. Um, they are not sponsoring me in any, any way. I just found them very helpful. Um, this isn't really normal, but uh, I used to have my main screen on the right instead of the left. Um, but I just liked it like that at the moment because I had my right screen right in front of me and my left screen to the right, uh, to the left. Um, now I have both of them in front of me. I just, they the center is right in my eyesight. Um, so yeah, you're gonna want to put your, uh, main screen to the left. Um, but basically find any one you want. I found this out because I went to Google Images and I found this Aperture Science. Uh, basically, what I saw was this. And I'm like, oh, I like Portal. Why not? And then this turned out to be on the right side. And Aperture Science Laboratories turned out to be on the left side. So when I switched it, it went to normal like this. Uh, but we're going to go back to uh, dual monitor backgrounds. Basically, um, once you type that in, uh, or if you if if you can't find it in the search, um, just type in dualmonitorbackgrounds.com and uh, click to click to change your preferences up here, and you can enter a resolu resolution or you can choose right here. Um, basically, all these are times two, except for that one. I don't really know it. Oh, that's never mind. Um, but uh, then what you want to do is uh. After you've got it, I'm just going to grab this one. Uh, you just click on it, click on this one, right click, save image as, save, and then you can close it, yes. And then you just want to go to the pictures, and uh, you're going to want to grab, which I... Uh, which I already created a uh, background folder, uh, but basically it's going to save into here, 
uh, what you want to do is right click new folder or new new folder and then uh, create a background folder uh, then you want you're going to want to put the picture in there but uh, basically right here we've got the picture um, so now we want to right click on our desktop go to personalize uh, then we want to go to desktop background and we're gonna pop up here and we want to go to browse I've already done this as you can see so and then we want to go under your username or whatever the name of your computer is um, mine is blurred because it's blurred deal with it and um, then you want to go to my pictures and then background and then hit OK and it should pop up with everything that's in your background folder I've got this Call of Duty I did the aperture science and that but you're gonna they're all gonna end up being checked so I'm just gonna go to solid colors and go back to background so they're all gonna be checked like this and your screen will change like that so you, all you're gonna wanna do is the one you've chosen if you've got more than one in there um, they'll all be checked but if you've only got one in there it's it's gonna be checked but if you've got more than one you're gonna wanna uncheck the ones that you do not want um, alright so what you're gonna wanna do is uh, check it and then change your picture position to tile um, I don't know why it's tile but uh, it is um, it's it's pretty cool and then just hit save changes close that out close that out close everything out and you're done um, so yeah that was the tutorial on uh, on how to uh, create your background to go across both of your screens if you have dual monitors if you have triple monitors it's the same deal you're just gonna have to find a different website um, or you can use uh, Ifinity um, but that is for the AMD graphics cards now if you have a newer Nvidia graphics card it will have uh, it'll it'll have something I uh, I'm going to link you guys to a video on how to uh, do it with a newer NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, right now I have a 430, I think, um, and I saw him do it with a 770 or something, or 670, um, but this is for, that's for newer graphics cards. So I'll link you guys to that in the description, I'll link you guys to the uh, website that I got this background off of you can always get it off of Google Images if you don't want to get it off this website I personally found the website helpful um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time